I think we're in the middle of an ongoing crime. I've no idea how long it's going to last. I think it's, I'm convinced that it will be the biggest crime in history. Uh, it's global. Uh, it has the intent of control, removing everybody's freedom. And I personally think will involve killing further millions, if not billions of people. That makes it a pretty big competitor for the title worst crime in history. It is long planned. Uh, I won't bore you with the details, but I've definitely come across information that shows that the components of the deceit that they've used, you know, PCR, uh, exaggerated PCR testing, uh, the use of fear-based messaging through the media, this stuff's been rehearsed by militaries and the people we might think of as the spooks for at least 25 years and possibly longer. So it's long planned, very serious. Here's the thing, why I'm calling you to arm. It's not going to return to the old normal. One, that's never their intention. So it's not going to happen passively because it's not, there isn't an actual phenomenon that's going to wear off. They're not going to allow it to return to normal. So if you comply with this tyranny, it will end with the loss of your liberty and probably your life. Uh, the supply chains uh, that move materials, uh, uh, raw materials and finished goods around the world are being sawn through on a global scale. You've only got to look at where the shipping is, where it should be and where it actually is. And terrifyingly, the same is happening to food production worldwide, food and fertilizer production. It's in the wrong place. It's deliberate. They're smashing the means of manufacturing enough calories to keep 7.8 billion people alive. And, you know, where do you think that's going to end? Well, the answer is mass, star mass starvation, war, uh, uh, global migration. That's, that's what's going to happen if you and everybody else choose to do nothing at all. Uh, also, economic destruction we can see happening around us. Interest rates will rise on the back of huge debts. That will just cause mass bankruptcies, rolling recessions, depressions, things like that. And I would also imagine loss of confidence in the very thing called money. So any savings you've got, I think they'll just vanish. Literally, people will just say, I no longer trust sterling. I don't want to accept it. And so all your savings are now worth nothing. So if you wait, I believe it will be too late. I think you already know that I'm broadly telling you something that's closer to the reality than what government's telling me. Uh, but I believe that we can head off the worst crimes in history by actively withdrawing our consent and, and definitely not accepting these uh, digital ID for any reason, any reason. If you accept it, they, they will sweep over us. Um, and so just in the last few words, I implore you to get involved, to use some of what I and others are saying to you. Uh, be brave, actually. You have to be brave now and risk embarrassment um, and recruit other people to this cause and we can roll them over.